An insect bite could keep you from taking a bite out of your favorite foods. Yeah, CDC reporting that hundreds of thousands of people now have a meat allergy after getting bitten by something called the Lone Star Tick. So how prevalent is this Lone Star Tick here in Minnesota? It's a good question. Jeff Wagner explains where and when you'll need to protect yourself. We're taught where they lurk. When it's leafy, uh, you come to a kind of brushy trail. To be mindful. Yeah, I'd say extremely diligent about checking. And which species are most likely to latch on up north? Deer ticks and wood ticks. Had you heard of the Lone Star Tick? No. Well, yes, but I didn't know what it was called at the time. <laughs> the Lone Star Tick gets its name from the sometimes star-shaped spot on its back. Here's how it looks next to the wood and deer tick Minnesotans know well. How prevalent is the Lone Star Tick in Minnesota? So it's still a really uncommon tick. Elizabeth Schiffman is an epidemiologist with the Minnesota Department of Health. Uh, we've never been able to find established populations of these Lone Star ticks. And, you know, our other partners in the state from the university or other places also have not. The insect has a foothold to our south and east, but it has occasionally been found in Minnesota. They can get brought in on birds or other animals that migrate. What is the great concern about the Lone Star Tick? It definitely can transmit tick-borne diseases, um, different ones than, than the ones we have here. But the reason the Lone Star Tick has really been making news a lot in recent years is because of its association to um, an allergy. A bite from the Lone Star Tick could lead to alpha-gal syndrome, a potentially life-threatening allergy toward meat, including beef and pork, as well as dairy products that contain milk. The CDC reports at least 110,000 suspected cases in the U.S., but the estimated number is closer to half a million. I do eat a lot of meat, so it would be a great concern to me. These two guys happen to be vegetarians. What meal would you miss out on if you could not have dairy? I think, I think ice cream, like you said. Yeah. If you're worried about ticks, the good news is they're not very prevalent right now. It's too hot. Their peak was back in May and June, but they will reemerge again when it gets cooler in the fall, also known as hunting season. Until then, remember to cover up, use repellent, and check your body after a trip through their feeding grounds. This news is just kind of one more reason why we want people to take um, tick prevention seriously, um, because nobody wants to get an allergy that is going to really change how they approach life. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News.